In today's episode, we learn in brief about the techniques of hair transplant surgery to treat hair loss and male pattern baldness, the advantages and disadvantages of each hair restoration technique and which one you should opt for when you decide to undergo hair transplant. Especially important is to achieve natural appearance by mimicking original hair orientation. All that's coming up. Before we start, please make sure you have subscribed to our channel along with the bell icon. Well, hair transplantation is a minimally invasive surgical procedure where hair follicles are removed from one part of the body, usually called the donor side, and transplanted to a bald or balding part of the body, usually the scalp. Hair transplant can also be used to restore hair anywhere in the body like the eyebrows, beard hair, chest hair and so on. And remember, it's a simple one day procedure done on OPD basis. Now, let's quickly know how this is done. There are two main methods for harvesting hair from a donor site. Number one, strip harvesting and FUT that is follicular unit transplant. This is the traditional hair transplant method which involves extracting a linear strip of hair bearing skin from the back or the side of the scalp. The strip is then dissected to separate individual grafts. These hair follicles at the back of your scalp are usually resistant to the action of DHT that is dihydroxytestosterone which is responsible for male pattern baldness. This strip of hair taken from the back of the scalp is generally about 1 to 1.5 cm into 15 to 30 cm in size. Then this incision is closed by suturing. Then secondly, the follicular unit extraction method that is FUE. In this method, individual follicular units containing 1 to 4 hairs are removed under local anesthesia. This micro removal typically uses tiny punches of between 0.6 mm and 1.0 mm in diameter. The surgeon then uses very small micro blades or fine needles to puncture the sides for receiving the grafts, placing them in a predetermined density and pattern and angling the wounds in a consistent fashion to promote a realistic hair pattern. FUE takes place in a single long session or multiple small sessions. The FUE procedure is more time consuming than the strip surgery. These two methods have their own pros and cons like FUT is more invasive and involves incision and suturing and sometimes can leave a bad scar at the back of the scalp which may sometimes be difficult to conceal by long hairstyles. Whereas the FUE is cosmetically better but more time consuming and can be expensive to the patient. So the question is which technique you should opt for to get the best results with proper hair orientation. Well, though expensive, you should opt for robotic hair restoration method of hair transplant. This method uses cameras and robotic arms to assist the surgeon with the FUE procedure. In 2009, Neograft became the first robotic surgical device FDA approved for hair restoration. Then the ATAS system was FDA approved in 2011. The ATAS system is proven and permanent solution that provides natural results without any stitches or scars and even without any damage to existing hair. The high definition stereoscopic vision system utilizes artificial intelligence algorithms to identify and select the best hair follicles for harvesting. You can watch my detailed stage wise treatment of androgenetic alopecia from this end screen link circled right here. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and comment below with your feedback. Stay healthy.